Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look at your romantic love life for the week of April 2023. Whether you're meeting someone brand new this week or you're maintaining an existing connection, I'm going to dive into the next seven days, okay? I get pretty nosy in these readings, so just a little FYI. I'm gonna find out how this person feels about you, their view of you, their desired actions towards you, what the biggest blockage for the two of you and your connection is, how you feel about them, the potential outcome this week, and your, your advice with this person. Then I will clarify as needed to break it down and summarize what I'm feeling inside in regards to this reading, okay? Now, Aquarius, if you're in a recent no contact situation where you and this person haven't spoken much in the last few days, up to a couple of weeks or so, and you're wondering what the heck is happening, I will pull your person's hidden feelings at the end of the reading, try and get a little bit in their head to see how they feel about the fact you guys aren't talking and if they plan to break the no contact this week. But I like to stay as present as possible, so this is for recent no contact people, okay? Everyone else, let's begin. The devil wanted a hot belt. Okay, Aquarius, for some of you, you're dealing with a sex-only connection or there's addictions affecting your love life or codependency or a third party. We'll see if that card comes back out, okay? Aquarius, what do we have for Aquarius for the next seven days, please, Spirit? Who's coming towards them with romantic intentions? Aquarius, love. Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords wanted to plop out. Someone here is coming in with some deep emotions for you, but they're stressed out about all the work that it in involves in order for you guys to be together. That's a side message for somebody. You could be connecting with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Fire Sign. Two more shuffles. One, two. Let's rock this and deck for my amazing Aquarians. Okay, so your person's feelings for you this week, what are they? We have the Page of Cups. Could be a new person for you coming towards you, whether you just met them or you're about to meet them. And if it's not a new person in your life, there could be, you know, a sweet message coming in from somebody. All right? Could be a water sign. What's this person's view of you this week? The Nine of Swords. So they're viewing you as being all up in your head about them. Okay, whether you are or not, this is their perception, okay? They may feel like they did something to stress you out or they are currently doing something that's not sitting right by you, all right? It feels like this message is in an attempt to test the temperature of how you're feeling about them right now, right? It's like the Page of Cups reminds me of someone that's like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna send Aquarius a text, see how they respond to that, just to test the temperature to see if I've annoyed them in any way you know, piss them off, or if we're still good with our connection here. So let me send this message. You know, it's a, hi Aquarius, how are you doing? How's your work day? You know, and see how you respond to them because they think that you're stressing out about them. They may see you as worrying about something in regards to them, worrying about whether you can trust them, okay? What's their desired actions for you this week? The Queen of Cups. This is someone that really desires to be more emotional with you, more open with you, more loving, more nurturing, more giving. Um, and this Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords wanted to come out during the pre-shuffle. Remember, we saw the Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Wands, and I intuitively felt that someone is coming in with deep emotions, but stressing about all the work that it entails to be in a relationship. Whether that's you stressing about all the work that's involved, and this is someone that's ready to go and ready to build with you, or this is the person that's stressing about how to build something with you, and because they're stressing, they're getting you in your head about them as well, is what I'm getting, is what I'm getting. Strong, watery energy for your person, okay? It doesn't have to be a water sign. It's someone just very sensitive with their emotions. They're very in tuned to how they feel and they can pick up on how you feel too. Like if you guys are sitting next to each other on a couch watching TV and you're in your head stressing about something but you've got a big smile on your face, this person's gonna look at you and be like, what you stressing about? I know you're not just sitting there with a smile on your face. I can sense that you are stressing out and you'd be over here like, how the hell did you know I was stressing out? I was smiling. You know, it's a very in tuned person. Could be a very empathic person, a very psychic person. Um, water signs are very empathic, okay? Whether it's in their moon placement, their sun, their Venus, 
This is someone that can read a room, okay? Now, what's your feelings for this person this week? The Ten of Wands, I swear I could have just started the reading with the pre-shuffle. All the cards are coming out and I shuffled them back in, Aquarius, you saw me. You're feeling the pressure of this relationship this week. You're feeling the heat is on. You feel that sun burning down your neck. I mean, look at you. Look at you, Aquarius. You're over here like, oh my goodness, there's so much work involved with this person. I don't know if I've got it in me. I'm going up this hill regardless, but if it's not worth it at the end, I'm gonna be ticked off that I wasted all this time. You know, you're feeling the pressure of building something with this person, not really quite sure of how they feel, what their intentions are, where this relationship could go, whether you can trust them or not. Um, or for some of you, you got a lot of red tape to cut through in order for you guys to have a happy relationship together. You know, there's something that's weighing on you heavenly um, this week, Aquarius, and this person can pick up on it, okay? You're holding all those burdens and you're carrying those rods up that hill and you're wondering, can someone help me with this, this load? You know, is this person gonna help me or am I doing this by myself, right? Whew, all right, what's the biggest challenge for the two of you this week? The star, keeping the hope, keeping the faith. You know, Aquarius, this is your court card. When it's in the blockage, I read it reverse. And the star in reverse is lacking faith, lacking hope, lacking the feeling like something that you're wishing for or you're wishing together for is gonna work out, right? You see, when we have something tangible in front of us, we don't need to have faith that it's there, right? I don't need to have faith that I got this fat, chunky squirrel in my hands. I can feel him, he's right here. My eyes don't lie, my, feel, my hands can feel it. But in order to have faith, you gotta have Trust that something is there without seeing it. So there's something you're not seeing yet because there's no tangible proof of it and it's stressing you out having to have faith. You know, you both, you both are kind of coming in with this energy, but it feels like more you, Aquarius, right? And this person's, this person's coming in with the energy of, hey, I already can sense what's happening. I know I have feelings for you. I know I'm developing love for you. I, I, I trust how I'm feeling inside. And they're looking at you like, you don't trust these feelings that you're feeling inside, or you don't feel like you can trust them to have the feelings that they have. You know, or if the situation's gonna work out, if there's external circumstances that are gonna make the de decision of you guys being in a relationship more difficult, right? There could be many of things that could be interfering with you guys is building a life together. But the biggest block is right now is lacking faith that something's gonna work out the way that you're hoping, right? What's the potential outcome this week? The strength card, major account for Leo. Okay, the strength card as the outcome is building confidence, building strength, building that, that um, you know, I'm getting a side message, hold on. I mean, I'm looking at this card, it's showing me the Empress card. It's showing me the Empress, Taurus Leaper energy. It's telling me that there's support coming towards somebody in regards to this relationship that's going to give someone the comfort that they need right it's like you've got somebody by your side Aquarius either a best friend that's coming in for support or this person is the one that's going to be more supportive which is going to take the stress and the worry off of your shoulders or this is you connecting to your spirit guides connecting to your faith that everything is going to work out the way that it's meant to whether it's for you guys' relationship growing together or parting ways, something you're gonna feel the faith that something is working out the way that it's meant to. And you're just gonna release those burdens and be in that energy of, all right, universe, I'm gonna disengage from the outcome. Whatever will be, will be. I ain't stressing about it any longer. This is just not, it's too taxing. Speaking of taxing, don't forget your taxes. <laughs> the deadline's coming up in a, a week or so. Anyways, what's your advice? let go of past the disappointments that are unrelated to this person because with the page of cups being here it feels like this is a new person in your life don't let this person pay the price for someone else who hurt you in the past and if this person did hurt you and you're struggling with moving on from them you really need to look at your feelings a little bit more closely and ask yourself is this some, if this is something you are able to move forward from in the future if not let it go let this person go like if they did something that you cannot let go and forgive, then let go of this person and begin your healing process on your own. 
right? But if this person didn't hurt you and this is connecting to your past, don't carry all those burdens alone. Let this person know what you're dealing with. Maybe they can offer you some sort of support, reassurance that they're not gonna be like so-and-so from your past, you know? What's the overall energy for the connection? The Page of Swords. Now, with the Page of Swords being the overall energy for your connection, Aquarius, it feels like you guys are gonna be watching each other more than speaking to each other, right? And the more this person watches you, the more they're like, what is Aquarius so stressed out about? Aquarius looks really nervous for, for some reason. I need more information. I need to find out why Aquarius is acting all nervous. Is it something I did or didn't do? Is it something I said or didn't say? I need to get to the bottom of this, right? Because this person's watching you. They see you watch, wa uh, worried about something. Okay, and this is also telling me that you're watching them. And the more you watch them, the more you're feeling the pressure of what this could turn into or what it won't turn into. And the heat is on. All right, I'm going to clarify. I do have the Hermit. I got the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I keep on seeing the Sun. And I got the Sun right here. I got the Sun right here. And this is Strength, which is ruled by Leo. Leo rules the Sun. So some of you guys could have Leo in your North Node, Aquarius in your South Node. Um, or you've got Leo in your self node and um, Aquarius in your north node and you're struggling with entering your north node status with the star and the blockage because that's your destiny, what you're going to. North node is what you're going towards. And then there's the strength card and the queen of swords on the bottom. All right, let's see what's going on. Why is the page of cups how this person feels about Aquarius this week? feels like you have a loving new connection here. I could be wrong though. Um, why is this person's feelings for Aquarius the Page of Cups? Why is this person's feelings for Aquarius the Page of Cups? The King of Wands, Leo energy. But this is also Aries and Sagittarius energy. Aquarius, you've got someone coming towards you that's very, very attracted to you. They, they're coming in very confident in regards to how they feel about the situation, right? Could have met each other at work or met this person while you were at your work or at their work if you don't work together or through mutual friends or you guys started off as friends and someone's wanting to take it from friendship to more romantic and maybe that's something that's stressing you out. Um, and if that's not the case, this person is very, very physically attracted to you. Um, and they're wanting to work together with you in some regard. They're wanting to cooperate with you. Not gonna lie, Aquarius, I like this person's energy. I mean, the roles can be reversed. This could all be flipped if this doesn't feel like you and you feel like this person. Um, but let's see. Why is Aquarius' feelings towards this person the Ten of Wands? Why is Aquarius' feelings towards this person the Ten of Wands? Why the Ten of Wands? Some of you may be nervous to get in, involved in a new love connection after a failure, a failed relationship from your past with that Five of Cups to the Ten of Wands. And just remember, everyone fails at something. Failure is an opportunity to grow, you know, to learn, to be better at the next go around. Why the Ten of Wands? Eight of Pentacles. You're feeling stressed out about whether something will work out or not, Eight of Pentacles. You know, you're willing to roll up your sleeves and put in the hard effort towards achieving the ultimate goal of, you know, long-term status with this person, but you're worried that all your effort is going to be in vain and that this is just all going to be a missed opportunity anyways, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups. I feel like I have an Aquarius that's getting a, a potential new romantic relationship here and you're scared that it's going to be the same as the last relationship you got out of where it didn't go anywhere or it was riddled with a lot of disappointment and sadness and, you know, loneliness. You know, it's, it's that feeling, you, you know, the energy I'm getting off of you, Aquarius, is that your last relationship, I don't feel like it's pertaining to this person, your last relationship, even though you were together with someone, you felt more alone. And that's awful when you're in a marriage or a relationship where you feel lonely even though you have someone. And you're worried about getting into another one like that. There's, there's something about this person that's triggering something that you haven't moved on from, you haven't let go of, you haven't released from a previous relationship. Why is this person viewing Aquarius as the Nine of Swords? Why is this person viewing Aquarius as the Nine of Swords? 
the tower, Scorpio energy. They're viewing you as expecting a tower any moment, like, like something feels too good to be true. And then there's the moon, the three of swords, and the queen of swords. Look at you. You're like watching this situation closely, like a hawk. And I got that page of swords a moment ago. You found that tall tree. You climbed up that tall tree to get a bird's eye view of what you're dealing with with this person because at ground level you felt like you were getting confusing messages. So you're up at the top of that tree trying to get a bird's eye view of who you're dealing with and the more you look at the situation the more stressed out you get. Right? And this person's viewing you as expecting the worst from the situation. Remember, I'm clarifying how they perceive you. Doesn't mean it's what's actually happening. It's their perspective. It's like they're viewing you as not trusting them. It's like they know that you're not trusting them. Okay? And they're viewing you as keeping this a secret. Keeping your fear of, of this person a secret with the moon. While you still keep, a, keep an eye out, Queen of Swords. Why is the star the blockage here for these two this week? Why is the star the blockage for the two of them this week? The Four of Cups and the Empress. All right. With the Empress being read in the blockage, again, I'm reading it reverse. Someone's lacking faith that this is going to grow, that, that there's going to be expansion, that there's going to be love, there's going to be marriage, there's going to be long term. Someone's scared that this is, you know, something that is being nurtured for no reason. Like, what am I going to get out of it? And fearful that this needs to be rejected or someone's about to get rejected. Four of Cups, Six of Swords. Okay. Fearing the worst. Why is the Queen of Cups this person's desired actions towards Aquarius this week? Why is the Queen of Cups this person's desired actions towards Aquarius this week? Why the Queen of Cups? Why the Queen of Cups, please? Why the Queen of Cups? The Ten of Wands. It looks like this person is coming towards you to take some of those burdens. What they do with those burdens, I don't know. But they're coming in to share the load. It's, it's almost the energy of, hey, Aquarius, why don't you give me some of those burdens? Why don't you tell me what's bothering you so I can help lift those burdens from your shoulders? AKA, I'll answer any of your questions you may have. Like this person is like, hey, ask me anything you want to ask. I'm here. Don't just sit there and watch and be nervous. Just ask me a question. It's like this person wants to, you know, this person's coming in very mature with that Queen of Cups. Um, I'm not getting a bad energy off of them. Why the Strength card has the potential outcome for these two this week? It's like this person's like, hey, if you have any, any, you know, concerns or reservations about me or my intentions with you or where I want this relationship to go, just ask me, you know, let's talk. Why the Strength card has the potential outcome? The Strength card. Whenever I get the same card as the card that I'm clarifying, it's my spirit guide's way of saying, Badison, you already said it. All right, someone's offering you support this week. Someone's wanting to comfort you. Someone's wanting to reassure you of something this week, right? And I, the Empress is in the blockage over here. Someone's fearing that they're not gonna get that support, that comfort, that, that love from somebody. Page of Wands. Why is the Five of Cups Aquarius's advice? It feels like this is a new love connection and they're wanting you to know that this person, you know, isn't that person that hurt you. Why the Five of Cups? Queen of Cups. Okay. Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. Why is the Page of Swords the overall energy? It feels like your advice is to nurture yourself. Nurture yourself the way that you have nurtured other people romantically. Give that love back to yourself for a bit. I'm sure this person will understand if you take some time for yourself. Why the Page of Swords? Seven of Wands. Okay, someone feeling backed into a corner to, you know, communicate about some things. Hierophant, in order to solidify some sort of commitment. That's what it feels like. Okay. I have nothing bad to say about the Queen of Cups in the upright. It, it's telling me that you've got someone here that's wanting to have a mature relationship with you. But maybe you've had 
pe previous relationships in the past that weren't so, you know, healthy, where someone, you know, hurt you, left you with all the pieces to pick up by yourself, and you're scared that this person's gonna do the same thing, leave you, you know, just up Chit's Creek without a paddle, you know. Only, you know, take what resonates, okay? If you are dealing with someone that is treating you like crap, ignoring your phone calls, ignoring your texts, you know, being disrespectful, that this is not your person, okay? This is for the Aquarians that are dealing with someone that has been a sweet person, has been caring, has been loving up to this point, and there's been no other clear signs of, you know, red flags, right? You'll know if there's a red flag or not. Now, if you're in a recent no contact with somebody, let's see what's going on. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. Some of you guys are in no contact with someone that is not ready for a commitment. They're still trying to figure out what they want in life. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still love me? Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? So for some of you, the ones that are dealing with some past stuff, you still have this person coming around. So, you know, you gotta protect your boundaries if this is someone that you don't want back in, okay? But for the most part, you've got a sweet soul surrounding you, whether you're about to meet them this week or you already just met them. This is someone that's coming in not to hurt you, but to maybe help you in your healing process. They may have been sent to you by your spirit guides. All right, so I'll, you could be connecting with a Leo, a Taurus, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong Leo, but it doesn't have to be. All right, so if this reading helped, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading with me, Aquarius, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. FYI, there's someone pretending to be me on Instagram. That is not me. I'm only active on YouTube, where you'll see a verified check mark next to my YouTube name. All right, later, Gators.